evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is December 31st, 1959. My name is Leah Price, and I'm bringing you your Atlanta news with Fox 5 News at night. Tonight's topic is about the African Congo and the amazing Christian missionaries trying to tame it. Africa is a savage place where people worship devil religion, if they worship religions at all. They are very disorganized, but if one thing is for certain, they all hate us Americans. Thankfully, brave Christian missionaries from across the nation are traveling to the Congo and devoting their lives to tame the wild. They are bringing them under God's light, guiding them on a path away from savagery and towards normal behavior. On top of this, with the church's help, they are bringing the African people out of poverty and into better living conditions. We are saving them. The other story for tonight is how this is my last show in Atlanta. My father is one of the very brave Christian missionaries, so our family is moving to the Congo to contribute to the saving of the African savages. I will be reporting from a new station there from now on. My father is a very strong man, and we will try our hardest to ensure that our mission succeeds, and we will bring them under God's way. Thank you so much for the memories I made here, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is December 14th, 1961. My name is Leah Price, and I'm bringing you your Congolese news with Fox 7 News in the morning. Today's topic is about the missionary movement in Africa and how it is not just clear-cut black and white. There is much more to the situation. My family and I moved down to the Congo almost a year ago to help in the effort. When we got here, though, it was a very, very rude awakening. We were starving, racked by disease, and had to watch our back at every step for deadly predators. The reason for this is because of our ignorance. We came to the Congo believing it would be easy to help these people. Instead, we've done almost nothing in terms of converting them. Now, though, our lives in the Congo are starting to improve. Instead of completely ignoring the Congolese, other than when dealing with religion, we've been listening to them, observing their ways, learning their language, adopting their techniques, and we're faring a lot better. However, my father is still not doing the same. He is still being ignorant. He still believes that these people are savages and that we do not need to learn from them. This, as a result, is hurting our entire family and hurting his missionary efforts. So to any missionaries out there listening, do not be like my father and ignore the Congolese people. Work with them and it will make both your lives a lot easier. Thank you. Goodbye. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is May 30th, 1962. My name is Leah Price, and I'm bringing you your Congolese news with Fox 7 New News. Today's topic is about the nature of the African people and how us Americans are affecting them. Before I came to the Congo, my idea of the Africans were much like the views of most of the people in the United States. They were antichrist savages who hated Americans. But that has changed. I have realized that these people, even though living through extreme hunger, poverty, and hardship, are some of the kindest souls you will meet and want to help you. Yes, they did not practice Christianity, but this does not mean that they are heathens. Their religion is just as beautiful, and it works the same way for them as Christianity does for us. I have realized that if the world took a chance to meet the Congolese, learn the ways, support their endeavors, and fall in love with them as I have done, they will realize that the real bad guys in this situation are us, the American people, as we are intruding their lands and creating division. So I encourage all of you to look at the Africans around you, just once, and see how it changes your perspective. Thank you.